I appreciate the opportunity to say a few remarks about the bill uh, that would codify a three-year pilot program that has been implemented by the Department of Education. And I would be remiss if I did not also thank um, House Education Committee staff because this bill was uh, conceived of and, and drafted originally here in the House. Uh, a little bit of background about flexible instructional days. There are currently being utilized by 12 school districts in a pilot program across the Commonwealth, three of which are located in what was then the 93rd Legislative District and, and now also in the 28th Senatorial District. So Senate Bill 440 would give school districts all across the Commonwealth that same flexibility uh, to assure that instructional opportunities continue for students in certain courses like English, Math, and Social Studies in the instances of inclement weather, a public safety emergency, or other unforeseen circumstances when school buildings are unsafe or unable to be used. There is a provision in the bill that the school district that is using flexible instruction days must show an assurance of compliance with the Individuals with Disabilities Act. Um, with the in let me, let me restate that. The Individuals with Disabilities Education Act uh, to make a, accommodations for students with IEPs. And additionally, there is a provision that was added to ensure that accommodations are made for children who do not have access to high-speed broadband at home. And the procedure that the school shall use must include accommodations. So um, I'd like to be very clear, and I think for all of those um, who I've had the great pleasure and privilege of serving with, probably already know that this is not a mandate, but yet an option, yet another tool for school districts to meet the educational needs of students. So school districts, intermediate unions, our career and technical schools, charter schools would all be able to apply to the Department of Education. The application would be valid for three years before schools would need to apply. And for the first two years, a school shall apply to the department by September 1, and the department shall notify the school of approval to participate in the program by November 1. And for each year after that, a schools shall apply by June 1 and will be notified by August 1. Schools would be capped at five flexible instructional days per year. And I'm very happy to answer any questions that any of you may have. And I want to thank the committee again uh, for its consideration of this important piece of legislation to provide flexibility to meet instructional needs of students all across the Commonwealth. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman.